many people did you call last week then speak to and speak last, to? last week it was zero because i was down in florida visiting my daughter yes i know <laughs> i did i did make a couple of calls but i had to leave messages i i did make uh, last week but i had to leave messages i didn't talk to live people so i didn't make any more. <laughs> it's so um, your daughter doesn't have phones in in Florida where she lives. <laughs> no, no, they don't. I know. Okay, I'm being a smart. No, I'm just as guilty as you. So we're both being honest. Oh, <laughs> oh, good. Another brave man, Kenny. How come you didn't make any? You didn't make any phone call. You didn't speak to anybody last week. No, I didn't. My son was going back, and I chose to. I chose to spend time with him before he went back to. I'm our running out of tissues here. Claudia, I know, another box of but I, I was scratching an unemployed ass last week, and that was by choice. Okay, who else has got? I got the tissues out. Who else has? Who else has? <laughs> who, who else has a sad story here? Tom, Tim, Tim, Tim Dry. I'm unmuting you there, Tim. Try to <laughs> shut off your phone. Okay, Tim. How many how many calls did you make? How many people did you speak to last week? Phone. Tim? No, I. Yeah, no, I did. <laughs> I bet Tim. Oh, done, but I. Yeah, no, but I got I got my stuff today, so I got uh, I got I got all my numbers lined up for today, and I'm gonna get that done this week. But I didn't. Uh, what, do you, what do you? I don't know what you mean numbers. Though. Help me out. What do you mean by numbers or something like? That? Oh, phone numbers. Yeah, I got oh. I got all my expires. So. What is what, what did the tooth fairy come and give you a list of phone numbers? What happened exactly? No, I got them from my title company. Oh, so. okay. What about in between those other five states? And I know it was a holiday and everything. Uh He's ever got the dog barking, hit your mute. Thank you. <laughs> I like to keep everybody unmuted, but <laughs> um, when, you, when you have noise in the background, it just overwhelms the whole group call. Um, uh, we're, could you have made some other calls on Zillow or Craigslist or anything? Yeah, I could have. I could have. I could have done that. Okay. Okay. I'm out of tissues here, so I'm not going to torment you. Box, oh, okay, that's good. The box is empty here and everything. What is the one thing you can do to succeed in sales? I don't care if you sell David Skullnick yellow t-shirts, um, you know, uh, mustard colored, I believe, uh, life insurance, Amway overpriced shampoo, um, you know, uh, red, red suits for Dan Locke, uh, whatever you sell. What's the best way to sell something? Get on Talk the phone. phone. Talk to somebody. Yeah. If it's a, what, you know, it's the one thing we focus on more than anybody else, I believe, direct selling. Why is direct, and have we, and I talked about this, I had a spontaneous group call uh, last week. Uh, Bill was mentioning, when was that, Bill? Wednesday, Thursday? I, I think it was Friday, or no, it was Thursday, maybe. No, I thought it was Thursday. I, yeah. I touched a little uh, on the seduction of, of seduction of selling the prospect did any of you get to hear that i posted it in the skype group uh the audio and everything like that what's the we've lost i think we've really gotten away because of so much technology um we, emails voicemails texting um we can hire our the one i always like to make fun of our acquisition manager i love when the gurus say yeah you got to hire that team you got to hire that expos uh, acquisition manager no you've got to take you've got to call and talk to people yourself before you hire all these other people why overhead right absolutely the one thing you can do today to make money today who'd like to make a thousand bucks today hey. one two three only four everybody people. would have oh okay can make a thousand dollars today if you if you speak directly direct selling direct marketing look it up it's where you take responsibility you pick up the phone you speak to a couple people there is somebody today who wants to sell their house get, they're motivated they're just has anyone here ever been a don't wanter i have 
Claudia and I still open a bottle of champagne every year from a house in Spring Valley, California that took us years to get rid of. It was the most miserable property. We had the worst tenants in the world. It was the wrong location, the wrong numbers. Uh, you know, Mr. Mentor made a big boo-boo. Funny, funny thing is, when we finally sold it, we still made $14,000. But boy, we paid a lot, a big emotional price for that property here. And we still celebrate every year when we sold that property. That's when you become a don't wanter in this business. But all you gotta do, if I can get you to speak to five people, not make five phone calls, just even, even if you did one or two today, and you made an offer, even though you know they're not gonna accept it, are we making enough offers every day?